Hello, and welcome to the second installment of Probe Industries Tech Tips and How To Videos. Today, our R&D guru and general shop manager, Sean Mendenhall, is going to illustrate a few ways you can quickly and easily deburr a piston. And this is a very important and often overlooked step in prepping a piston for your engine build. Okay, as you can see in this first video clip, the piston on the right has been prepped, deburred, and is ready for install in your build. The piston on the left, which is where we will start this how-to video, is what most pistons will look like fresh out of the box. Now, of course, pistons can be used directly out of the box, but as most engine builders will agree, additional piston prep and deburring is done based on the application and projected horsepower needs of your particular build. From here, we'll toss it over to Sean to show you some quick and easy steps in piston prep and deburring. Okay, so we're going to use scotch Bright wheel to deburr a piston. It's real simple. You just got to break all the edges. Kind of nice smooth. And I always break the edges here. Probably don't need to, but never hurt. Smooth edge. You can feel it with your finger, and that way you don't create hot points in the engine. There you go. Okay, one more, one more thing. When you have a piston that requires no rail support, pin is in the oil land. You're always going to want to come through and break the edges right here. Get your get the burr knife or a little file all the way up in the corner and just break the edge right there. So that way your oil rail support sits nice and smooth. Uh, you can go through and you can also check the inside, see if there's any burrs or chads. Or anything that you need need to deburr, deburr nice work great. Probably pick it up five bucks. You can use a small file, um, brand new small screwdriver. Use the edge of it. Um, just anything that's going to take that little burr that's always stuck right there in the corner out of there. So taking all the sharp edges off the pistons will help eliminate hot spots, which could create detonation. Uh, hot point. So basically this is a scotch bright roll, you could use a scar uh, cartridge roll, you could use just about anything, you could use a little Dremel, whatever whatever you have, and you're just going through and taking all the sharp edges off. You can flip it around, I mean you can do it, you can do it by hand. probably hard to see on that video but it's just making it a nice smooth edge the unsophisticated everyone has access to this way of deburring a piston just take a fine uh, 220 grit get it wet and you can just go around all of the edges on the piston but basically you're just looking for something that's nice and smooth um, oftentimes, if you're selling the engine and you don't want the little scrape marks here, you can take a, a scotch Brite, wipe down the whole piston afterwards, just so it has a uniform look. If it's an engine for sale and you need it to look pretty, you can just grab a piece of scotch Brite afterwards, get it wet. the face. And that way it all looks uniform. Right. There you go, there's the deburr piston. No sharp edges. Thank you very much for joining us on this edition of Pro TV. 
Remember, you can use just one or any combination of the methods we just showed you to properly deburr and prep a piston for your engine assembly, whatever's most comfortable for you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, or there's a how-to video you'd like to see, just hit us up on Facebook at facebook.com slash pistons. See you next time.